Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel Algorithm Pod. My name is Jitesh. So here I am with a continuation of our series Cryptography and Network Security. So in this video, we will be discussing very very dry topics. So let's jump right into it. Now, there is a concept of key range and key size. Now as we know, in cryptography algorithms, we perform encryption and decryption using keys. But how long the key can be and what can be the size of the key? okay the key range can be small what is the small key range in the sense which denotes the smallest possible key and the largest possible key so in case some cases it can be from as low as 0 and as high as 255 or it can be even more so sometimes it also depends on the length of the plain text based on the range given that on the range this range if we consider the 0 and 255 the size of the key can be varied it can be 16 bits it can be 32 bits it can be 64 or more anything now why do we have to discuss the key range and key size so in order to the for the cryptographic algorithm to be more complex and effective the key range and key size should be more the more the range is the more the complexity is the more difficult it will become for the attacker to breach your networks they cannot able to read your conversation basically what we are trying to do is we are just we are not trying to we are trying to stop them but even if we could not able to stop them we are making their lives a hell even if we cannot able to stop the attackers we are trying to make sure that they cannot able to read the messages and we are basically increasing more and more difficulties on their way they so the attacker will be even the attacker will have the knowledge of this cryptography algorithms they know we are applying this thing so they will try each and every combination of possible keys to try and decrypt your algorithm so that they can have your access so that they can have the access to your conversations so basically the more the key size or key range is the more better it is said as the key size is more it is said to have more major impact and more secure now there is another concept of steganography now it is basically a technique if we so take an example like if we want to send some message now we want to mix uh, we want to send some secret message basically now we want to do it in a such a way that nobody should able to detect that this message has been, this secret message is being exchanged so the best way to do is disguise now steganography means hiding of secret data within an ordinary file or message to avoid detection the attacker will think that this is an ordinary file but in reality a secret message is being exchanged so it is derived from the greek word steganos and graph steganos means hidden graph means writing now this technique is widely used in digital content in concealing the digital content like in the graph in the grasp of a image in the guise of an image we can send some secret information only the only the intended receiver is able to see it nobody else can able to see it or some kind of code language only the receiver or sender can able to understand it nobody else can able to understand it the example of this technique is watermarking we have seen a watermark on photos or videos to show their uniqueness or something we can also exchange water if we can also message some secret messages or secret codes basically to so that only they can be able to understand it so that's it guys for this video make sure to like this video subscribe to our youtube channel algorithm pod make sure to hit the bell icon and see you guys in the next video